You know, when I talked about anime reboots a while back, I did not expect One Piece to be one of those anime franchises. To this day, the series is still going on from Toei, and the manga is reaching its final saga. We are nearing the end of One Piece, something that I never thought I'd live to see. Honestly, a lot of other people thought that they would too. However, um, is a reboot really warranted? Like I said, to this day, the franchise is still going on. We might be reaching the end point of it, but given how slow Oda tends to write and likes to drag out some stories, we might not see the end of One Piece until 2008. And 30. That's right. Even though we're technically nearing the end, it's going to be a long, long way until the finish line. I've seen a lot of One Piece fans being a little skeptical, but also very excited about this reboot. Grand Line Review and my friend Greek Weep have both said a lot of pros about the potential that a reboot like this could bring. For example, the first original season came out in 1999. I call One Piece the family guy of anime because Dragon Ball is clearly The Simpsons. But anyway, to this day, since 1999, the series has been going on. And as you can tell, the art style and animation have drastically increased in that course amount of time. However, because the franchise has been going on for so long, over numerous decades, it's going to be hard to get new fans interested because, well, the original series has pretty outdated animation style and anime effects, as well as a large, very, very large number of episodes, over a thousand episodes of One Piece. This was a big reason why I didn't initially get into One Piece because of that long episode count. However, uh, 2020 came around and I had plenty of time to watch it. And yes, I got hooked. I do love One Piece. But even then, I have to admit that I was dreading through the numerous episodes that I had to watch as an anime fan. But now I'm all caught up. And this is one big pro that I have to agree on. Rebooting the first few seasons and arcs of One Piece with the new animation styles, especially from WIT Studios, the ones who made the first three seasons of Attack on Titan and are doing Spy X Family, is a pretty big deal and a major advantage. The animation will look amazing from the studio. Another pro that this reboot would do is fix the pacing, because One Piece has been dragging out episodes and stories so long that it is no longer funny. At a certain point, I have yelled at my TV saying, get to the end already. My God, Toei, the hell. So yeah, fixing the pacing issue with the original series is going to be a big major plus because let's face it, a thousand episodes and the chapters starting to adapt like, I don't know, three fourths of a chapter rather than three chapters an episode. Eh, it's clear who's going to be the clearer victor. Grand Line Review also made another assumption that I, uh, I kind of have to agree because I did not think about this. One Piece is also going to have to find new voice actors because the original ones and Toei are getting up there in age and it's kind of sad. It's very hard to believe that these voice actors have been doing their job for so long that they're almost at the end of their rope and I don't think that they will be coming in for the Wit Studio one. It's sad, but I do kind of want to see some new voices who could match the potential and greatness of the original actors, both the Japanese and the English dub. One talking point that a lot of fans have been pointing out to me is that this is all to reach newer fans. Um, guys, was that not the point of the live action remake that we got in the summer of 2023? You know, that groundbreaking live action remake that broke the curse. It would have so great that it was getting a season two. Now we have the One Piece, live action One Piece, and the original Toei One Piece going on practically at the same time. Guys, three pieces, not one, three are going to be going on around the same time. I get wanting to get fans and strike while the iron's hot, but come on, there is so much One Piece that is too much. It's an overload, an overload. <laughs> I'd hate to say this though, but if we're getting a animation remake, as opposed to the live action remake, I think that we're going to have to kick the live action one to the curb. Guys, I know this one broke the live action curse of manga adaptations and all that because the list before it was terrible and a good job to them too. But the East Blue was the easiest to adapt because it is just the most normal. And I use the term very loosely. The East Blue saga was just the easiest to adapt because the characters just spent most of their time talking in pubs. The action scenes were very limited because, let's face it, 
Look at all the CGI that they had to use on talking snails, monsters, they had to use practical effects on the fishman, the devil fruit abilities especially had to be cut, and that is a crying shame. And all this was from the East Blue. Imagine what Netflix would have to do once they get to the Grand Line. One island is full of dinosaurs and Viking giants. Giants that stood who knows how tall? Maybe 90 feet? I don't know. It's tall. They were probably going to have to cut Groggy and Brogy. I, 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 look, I can't remember the names, but they're probably going to either have to cut the giants or figure out some way to change up the story. And these two characters are a big impact, <laughs> jokes aside. But it's not just Little Garden that was going to be a big issue for their effects team, but they also had to go to Drum Island, pick up Chopper, and figure out how they're going to do him. Was he just going to be a kid with reindeer prosthetics? Was he gonna be CGI, like a little Pikachu, but not enough screen time? What was gonna happen? Come on. And as for devil fruits, the Logia fruits were going to be introduced. We had Smoker with the smoke fruit. We had Crocodile with the sand fruit. Ace with the flame fruit. And these are badass devil fruits, but, but because of CGI budgeting, they were probably gonna to have to be cut down a lot. And that is something that One Piece fans love seeing. Devil Fruit Fights. So if we're gonna have to kick one of these projects out, I'm gonna have to say bye bye live action and hello animation remake. I am all for the potential that this reboot has to offer, but I think it's a mixed bag as to what has been going on now. Wano just ended. The story is building up to an epic finale that we have not seen yet as of this recording. We have a live action remake. We have who knows how many more movies coming out. And we've heard the East Blue Saga so, so many times. I just think that it came not at the best moment, but it came at a, let's just say, hype moment in One Piece. Thank you guys so much. If you like what I do and want to see more, like, share, subscribe, comment down below to beat that goddamn algorithm. And if you want to show more support, go to my Patreon and give a little donation. It's just $1. You won't miss it. Until next time, I'll see you later, guys.